was Mom's weekend in Iowa City for being a sorority, and of course I always tag along any chance I could get. I remember getting to Iowa City, and the first thing that came out of Bailey's mouth was, I think I have a boyfriend. In the best Jacob timing ever, he met a girl. <laughs> and she's going to Michigan. And we're like, well, what are we going to do with this? It was a graduation day. Ron and I were there. And she introduced this guy. This guy, was his name was Jacob. You know, big, big tall kid. Smiled a lot. Didn't say much. We, did, we wrote him off because we didn't think uh, she's going to Michigan in three months. Time to load up the U-Haul, start heading to Michigan. She goes, by the way, we need to swing by Cedar Rapids and meet Jacob's dad and mom. I go, who's Jacob? And who in the hell is Brian and Kathy? Four or five minutes into our meal, we knew we had some great parents and great kids. Jacob, I vow to wake up every day ready to love you with everything I have and even more than the previous day. I vow to love you on our worst days, best days, and every day in between. I vow to never forget the reason we are saying I do. I vow to never try to make our marriage perfect to embrace our perfectly imperfect marriage. I vow when things hit the fan and I ran out of people to call and places to escape, I vow to always come home to you. Dad, thank you for walking by my side, not only today but always. You are the first man I've ever loved and as you give me away, know that I will always be your little girl. I, you are my rock supporter and the person I love you most. Just remember I loved you first. Hey! <laughs> you ready to get married? <laughs> I, Jacob, take you, Bailey, to be my wife. I vow to support you in your decisions, to be by your side, whatever you choose. I promise to love you whenever you feel most vulnerable or when the days get tough. I vow to celebrate you with whenever you have success while also supporting you when there's failure. If I had one wish, it would be for everyone to have a Bailey in their life. She is the most loving person. She's brilliant and hardworking. She radiates positive energy wherever she's at. But mostly my favorite quality about Bailey is how strongly she cares and loves everyone in her life. I vow to cherish the little moments with you, even if it's watching your favorite TV shows. <laughs> These are the things that I promise to you today and promise to you forever. I love you, Jacob. I vow to grow old with you, Jacob. In sickness and in health, at the end of the day, all I need is you. I vow to honor you as my husband and partner for the rest of my life. If you are a thousand miles away, you are choosing to join together into something new. May your roots grow together so that you are not two, but one. May you, this and every day, grow with one another to be the best version of yourselves Support each other wholeheartedly and love people. It is my joy now to present Mr. and Mrs. Wolverd. Jacob, you may kiss the bride. Well done. Over time, we got to know Bailey, and it was a, you know, you kind of start to get torn about something like that because we're at the end of our senior year and this beautiful, awesome woman walks into our lives and we're like, what are we going to do? And so naturally he moved in with David and Alex and I in Iowa City for dental school. And for about two months he had all my classmates convinced that he was just a dental student that didn't go to school. And about two months into our dental school, Jacob and I were walking home from the bar, I'll never forget this, we have a retaining wall in front of our house, and Jacob's walking with his tail between his legs, I'm like, well, what's wrong, it's like 2 a.m., and he looks at me and he goes, Trevor, I just don't want to be here, and I thought in my head, I'm like, what the hell did we do now to make him mad, <laughs> and he looks at me and he says, I want to be in Michigan with Bailey, and I said, well, what are you doing here? 
said, go to Michigan. And we fast forward a few weeks later, and I mean, it's one of the most, the biggest things I respect in my life is he took a leap of faith for Bailey to go to Michigan. And now we're all here tonight. 